grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. And as we uh, enter this weekend, the weekend before Christmas, I hope and pray that you are finding joy in your world today, even in the midst of darkness. So many people today are feeling like the darkness is, is uh, enveloping them and smothering them. But I want to talk briefly about the fact that the darkness cannot stand in the presence of the light of Christ. In particular, the night in which our Lord was born. Uh, Luke's Gospel uh, has that incredible story about uh, the night that our Lord was born in the little town of Bethlehem in the manger. When he says these words in Luke chapter 2, verse 8, And there were shepherds living out in their fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ, the Lord. In the midst of the darkness, our, our Lord was born. Uh, so often we, we get fixated on the darkness around us, like people are doing today. And I spent a couple of hours or so uh, hearing confessions this morning. And there are people who are feeling the darkness. And it's overwhelming to some. Uh, it uh, contains within it uncertainty, uh, questions that are unanswered, uh, anxiety, and indeed even fear. Uh, the circumstances in our, in our economy now are leaving people feeling desperate about what the future is going to hold. And it does feel indeed like a very dark time to many, many people. But we need to hear the angel who appeared to the shepherds at night as they were living out in the field, caring for their flocks at night. The angel spoke to them, telling them, Fear not, I bring you great news of a great joy that today in the city of David a Savior is born, who is Christ and Lord. In the middle of the darkness, miracles happen. This hymn I played, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, is one of those miracles. Uh, the Reverend Edwin Sears wrote this, uh, the poem uh, that this was based on, in 1849. And uh, Reverend Spears was going through a horrible time in his life. He was, uh, his health was not good. He was uh, the part-time pastor at a Unitarian church in Massachusetts, outside of Boston. Uh, and he was not only going through a health uh, crisis in his life, but he was becoming terribly depressed over everything going on around him in the year 1849. Uh, we were still in the after effects of the U.S. war with Mexico in 1849, and there were rumors and reports of war breaking out again in Europe in 1849, and he was terribly depressed. And into that he wrote the, the poem, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, that glorious song of old, from angels bending near the earth to touch their harps of gold. Peace on the earth, goodwill to men, from heaven all angels gracious king. The world in solemn still dismay to hear the angels sing. In the midst of his depression, and the anxiety and the uncertainty. Uh, Reverend Sears wrote this poem that uh, a friend of his, uh, Richard Storrs Willis, uh, wrote uh, the music for, uh, music simply called Carol. And uh, when we read the words of the song, we see that his depression still comes through in verse three of It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, which says this, Yet with the woes of sin and strife, the world has suffered long. Beneath the heavenly hymn have rolled 2,000 years of wrong. And war ring humankind hears not. 
the tidings which they bring. O oh, hush the noise, and cease your strife, and hear the angels sing. We could say that to us today. As a matter of fact, we should. That says, O oh, hush the noise, and cease the strife, and hear the angels sing. In the midst of the darkness, the light shines. The light cannot overcome it. There's no way. That's one of the overarching themes of the Holy Bible. The light shines in the darkness. So many of the parables of Jesus have darkness in them. And then the, the, the light appears. So many of the passages in uh, the New Testament deal with light and darkness. John's Gospel, chapter 1, which we will hear on Christmas Day, has the same message. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So, no matter what you are experiencing today, whatever is happening, and you're feeling the darkness, the uncertainty, the anxiety, the light shines in the darkness. And remember that uh, our Lord himself made his entrance into this world as a human baby in the middle of the darkness, in the middle of nowhere, unexpected, unwanted, unloved by those around him, uh, expected by some, uh, feared by others, misunderstood by most. He still came among us in, the, in a, a far corner of the world, in a country uh, under occupation by a, a foreign power. The light shines in the darkness and it has never diminished. He is with you today. Enjoy these last few days before Christmas and lift up your hearts. And God willing, I will see you at Mass tomorrow as we enter the week of Christmas. God bless you.